Okay, so now I get to the conclusion. I argue that Guanxi is a long-term investment. I have to admit, I always argue for the positive side of Guanxi. And you probably know the negative side of the Guanxi, corruption, nepotism, favoritism, so on and so forth. That side is well known. And Guanxi has lots of those bad connotations, corruption. Particularly the Guanxi with government officials, Okay, uh, when she with somebody who are in power, in order, they, in order for them to do your favor, they often abuse their public office for the private gains. That's one type of guanxi, which I don't want to mention. I'm very ashamed of that. Okay, it's a bad thing. But I'm just arguing guanxi is not always bad. Guanxi is not necessarily totally bad. Guanxi can make a little contribution to the world by showing another side. It's a talking about know who. It's a talking about long-term investment. It's talking about a long-term cooperation. Okay, it's like a marriage. Okay, and uh, then that would have the informal shared interest. That's the key part of the the guanxi. It's open-ended, cannot be specified in a prior way, cannot be fixed in a contract, cannot be controlled by the the, the bureaucracy. Because that's flexible. You have to be really keep it open ended. And then the need of continuous investment. It's not a one time deal. So that's why I think the trust building, relationship building, the, the term building is very meaningful. They keep going, keep going, keep going. Okay, sometimes you invest more, sometimes you invest less. You're flexible because depending on whether you need, how much you need them. If you need them more, you build them more. If you need less, you build less. That's fully understandable. You do not maintain all the ties all the same time, at the same intensity. But since we know we have so many different layers, you maintain them differently. <laughs>